Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a, uh, a gloomy day here in Vancouver. I apologize if I use some natural light. Uh, it's a little dark. Anyways, it's not dark in the world of YouTube golf. It is optimistic. It is positive. It is future driven. And that's something we're here to talk about today. We're going to resolve the past so we can move forward into the future. That's my goal with today's video. So what I want to chat, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos and uh, yeah, you want to see more. Let's talk about Brian Bros because these guys have been on a bit of a tear recently. They started the year, I believe just over 100,000 subscribers. I think they are now right here, 265,000. They've gained almost 100 to 150,000 subscribers in 2023. Massive uptick. These guys have been around absolutely forever. OG trick shotters. They've had the YouTube channel forever. Wesley obviously was on the PGA Tour. He still kind of is on and off the PGA Tour, playing in events. He's won PGA Tour events. These guys are unreal. George is going through Q School this year. They've been collaborating with a bunch of channels, except a few. And that's what I want to talk about today. The Brian Bros have still yet to collaborate with any of the three big dogs, with one slight exception. Three big dogs obviously being Rick Shields, Bob Disports, and Good Good. Now, Wesley was in a Rick Shields video, but this was, I don't know, six months to a year ago, and it definitely wasn't like a Brian Bros Rick Shields collab. It was a Rick, I think was in Florida. He got Wesley in a video to hit chips and putts, but it, it wasn't titled, it wasn't thumbnailed, it wasn't co-promoted with Brian Bros. It wasn't something that really, I mean, he definitely shouted the channel out, but there's a difference between having the video be about the collab and then just kind of, you know, the angle that Rick took in that, which is like, I'm using this PGA Tour player to, you know, try to shoot a lower score by having him chip and putt around the green, obviously Wesley being one of the best short game artists in the world. So that was a slight collab, but not quite. But Bob does sports and good, good. We haven't seen it to this point. And I think we should, I really do. I think there's a lot of merit to a Brian Bros and Bob does sports collab number one. I think the comedy would be out of this world. I think the ability that Wesley has to riff with the best of them would go hand in hand with Bob and Joy and FB. Sorry, my dog's in the background. I think it would be absolutely incredible. I think the comedy would be top notch. I think the golf would obviously be good, but that's not, what it's about. I think these guys can hang on the comedy aspect, on the jovial aspect. They could come up with a good concept, and I think that would be extremely entertaining. I also think the same is true with Good Good, but in a different light. I think having the Brian Bros join in a Good Good major would be huge. Good Good has brought on some absolute elite level golfers in Luke Kwan, Brad Dalkey. They have Ben Hayden who hops in and out of videos. Obviously, Garrett's really solid in his own right, but I mean, Brad has little. <laughs> This is just what we're gonna have to do. Brad is absolutely solid in his own right. He played in the Masters, he played in the US Open. This guy is an absolute stick. And now seeing the Good Good Majors having a handicap system, like everyone's kind of in play, I think putting two more absolute elite golfers who also have the presence in the YouTube world, who can also bring comedy into it, that's huge, that's massive. And I think it would do really, really well. I think the content itself would be super, super entertaining. You have two absolute stick golfers, PGA Tour level golfers who are also YouTubers. There's no reason in my brain why they shouldn't be involved in a major in some level. So that's something I personally really, really want to see happen. Now, why are all here? Why hasn't this happened yet? What's the reason that this hasn't happened? Because I get this a lot in the comments from you guys, a lot of questions of, hey Nate, why, why don't they collab? Why haven't, why are they like seemingly left out of these collaborative opportunities? There's a, there's a kind of a long and short answer and it's not that weird it's not that crazy really the, the the basis of it is at the beginning of this year brian bros had a little over a hundred thousand subscribers good good has over a million bob to sports they were a little less but they were killing it in views like bob to sports has the views of good good even though they have half the subscribers they have the views of rick shields even though they have one fifth of the subscribers like those three entities rick shields bob to sports and good good they're on a different level and when you see those guys collab it's like the titans coming together and they can offer each other something. They have audience trade-off. Like again, yes, Bob to Sports has far less subscribers than Rick, but he, they pull the exact same views. They have a slightly different, well, definitely a different audience than Rick. Rick's audience is obviously more traditional golf based. Whereas Bob to Sports is like a new wave of like, you know, kind of beer drinking weekend golfers. There's, there's a crossover that can happen. I guarantee you Rick benefited from that collab almost as much as Bob to Sports did, even though on paper, Rick's a little bigger. Same thing with Good Good, crossing over, Bob to Sports, Good Good, Rick Shields. 
you see you see the point I'm making here. Typically, when these big collaborations happen in YouTube, it's creators of a similar size coming together and having a rub off effect. But there's more to it than just trading numbers. You can also have collaborations that benefit the content side. And I think those are just as important. And that's why I think Brian Bros deserves a spot in Good Good Videos and in a Bob the Sports video, because I think they could bring real content power in the comedy aspect to a Bob the Sports video. And I think they could bring real golfing prowess to a Good Good Major. So these are two things I would love to see happen. I think both groups are open to it. I think Good Good is definitely like they, Good Good and Bob to Sports are two groups that have done lots of collaborations in the past. But obviously, you know, at the end of the day, they're booking their schedules, they're making their plans, they're going around. Things have to make sense. But I think this does make sense. And I think both groups would agree. Maybe this will put the thought into their brains. That's kind of what I like to do around here, hopefully, is, is encourage this kind of... Uh, growth of the sport and growth of the space. I consider YouTube off a sport. I really do. So anyways, guys, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on all this. I wanted to talk about this because I get this question a lot and I thought it'd be an interesting one for today. So hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.